the federal liberals have put together a star-studded cast to help choose new members of the Public Broadcasters Board of Directors. Former veteran television news broadcaster Tom Clark, who works for the communications consulting firm Global Public Affairs, will head the advisory committee that's designed to fulfill a liberal campaign promise to overhaul the process for appointing board members at CBC Radio Canada. The nine-member committee also includes theatre and television actor Calm Theor, known for his Gemini Award-winning portrayal of the late Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau in the TV miniseries Trudeau, as well as his role as a detective in the movie Bon Cop, Bad Cop. The committee also includes Winnipeg Franco MTI's film producer Janelle Wookie, British Columbia digital media specialist Prem Jill, Quebec digital visionary Monique Savoy and indigenous documentary filmmaker Alanis Abamsawin. The panel will provide Heritage Minister Mlaney Jolie with a list of qualified candidates for each vacant position, as well as the names of supplementary qualified candidates the government can consider to fill posts in the future. Critics have for years complained that the process for choosing board members at the CBC left the public broadcaster open to political interference. Many have also recently noted that the current board, which is already short several members, doesn't reflect Canada's diversity and lacks experience outside of the broadcasting sector. The advocacy organization Friends of Canadian Broadcasting launched a social media campaign a year ago, calling for an overhaul of the board selection process. The Canadian Media Guild, which represents most English-language employees at the CBC, also actively campaigned for a change of leadership at the Crown Corporation when the previous Conservative government was in power. While the Liberal Party's election platform promised merit-based and independent appointments, the Heritage Minister will ultimately make the final choices of new board members from the advisory panel's list of recommended candidates. The panel has been asked to assess potential board members based on criteria published on the Governor in Council website and to consider seven factors, including whether potential candidates reflect regional and cultural diversity and whether they have contributed to the development of a shared national consciousness and identity. Candidates will also be assessed on whether they have an understanding of the impact digital technology is having on broadcasting and the consumption of news and entertainment content. NDP heritage critic Pierre Nantel said the Liberals are using smoke and mirrors. Despite this new process, new criteria, and the skills of those appointed, the minister still has the final say and could decide not listen to the committee's recommendations, Nantel said. He also pointed out there is no timeline involved. Once again, the Liberals are doing what they've always done since the beginning of their term, announce a new process to buy some time and to look good yet fail to deliver on any concrete actions to fix the problem. Jolie defended the new system.